hi guys welcome back to our next video i hope everyone is having a blessed day or morning or night but guys today i'm in the kitchen i'm preparing some jamaican puff chow i have my vegetable in some vinegar water you know uh, if you're watching me for a, for a long time you know I always rinse off my vegetable in some vinegar or some lime water to take, to take off some some of the bacteria off them so what i'm doing now guys i cut up my pop chow already and you definitely can cut up your pop chow any size you want but i've cut up my pop chow in some fine size so what i'm doing now so i wash off my pop chow in uh, some vinegar water also and then I'm just cutting up my bell peppers. I'm using three different color bell peppers, but all of them come from the same tree. Yeah, but it actually gives the pop chow a nice color, colorful pop chow, and also some flavor. So I'm using three bell peppers slash sweet peppers. Okay, guys? I'm also using onion, tomatoes kellyanne scotch bonnet pepper and a piece of thyme So what I'm doing now, I'm just combining all of my ingredients, put everything together. Like when I rub up meat, make sure everything combine together. So here I have my dosh pot. I just put the pot is hot already so i just pour in some olive oil you can use any oil you want i prefer to use some olive oil and wait until my pot hot and then i'm gonna put in all of my vegetable okay guys so just enjoy and watch till the end I'm gonna season up my pop chow first I'm gonna use my Larry seasoning salt and that is my odd purpose so when I use this season I don't put no farmer salt in there because this season I have a lot of salt so I'm gonna add some black pepper now and then some Jai oregano that season it make the pop chow give it a nice flavor but try it and tell me really tastes really good with it so try it guys and let me know only three season powder season i don't want to fool it a lot of powder season because i put the natural seasoning in there already so trust me it will get a big kick so you're gonna season to your taste and i'm gonna let this steam i'm gonna pour some water in there and then i'm gonna let it steam for 10 to 15 minutes any oil you I, i'm gonna let it cook for 10 minutes if depends on how you like your pop chow crunchy or soft um you can if you want if, if you want your pop chow like if it's soft you can let it let it steam for 15 minutes but if you want it crunchy a little crunchiness in there 10 minutes is ideal for it okay guys
guys this is the finished look of my jamaican pop chow guys you have to try this recipe guys and comment and share and tell me all about this recipe tell me all your kids them love it your husband your girlfriend your wife tell me all your family love it 